Isn't it odd that so many of our favorite nursery songs deal with death and decay? Endings are as much a part of life as beginnings. Therefore it stands to reason that they provide some of the greatest and most memorable songs we learn from infancy to maturity. See also, Humpty Dumpty, and, Ring Around the Rosy, for further instances. However, we shall discuss a bridge here. To be specific, London Bridge and its never-ending failure to remain intact inside the song, London Bridge is falling down. Let's get started. Origins. The popular English nursery rhyme can also be played as a singing game, more on that below. It has also been referred to as London Bridge, and My Fair Lady, more on whoever this lady is below. In terms of substance, the poem discusses the degradation of the iconic and massive London Bridge, as well as attempts to repair the ailing structure using materials such as masonry and metals. Some believe the song dates back to the late Middle Ages, however the first recordings originate from the 17th century. The rhyme's lyrics, as we know them now, were originally printed in the mid-18th century. They gained popularity in the United Kingdom and the United States in the 19th century, when the music for the rhyme was recorded. The London Bridge on its own. The London Bridge was the sole way to cross the Thames River in London until the middle of the 17th century. The building was damaged in a large fire in 1633 and narrowly avoided more destruction in the fire of 1666. According to experts, the construction hampered river movement and flow with its 19 narrow arches. The bridge was widened in 1763, although it remained small and required continuous maintenance. In the early 19th century, the bridge was replaced. The new London Bridge was built in 1831 and lasted until 1972, when it was rebuilt. At the time, the 1831 bridge was dismantled and rebuilt at Lake Havasu City, Arizona, in the United States. The song lyrics. While various verses have been credited to the song throughout history, most of which deal with which material was being used to perhaps repair the bridge, the most common first stanza frequently goes. London Bridge is falling down. Falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. The song's rhyme is composed of quatrains in trochaic tetrameter catalectic, which means that each line is composed of four metrical feet of two syllables, with the stress on the first syllable in a pair. This is typical of nursery rhymes. The singing competition. The physical activity that may be played while singing the nursery rhyme is one of its most memorable parts. In this show, two youngsters frequently line up face to face, arms in the air and hands held together in the shape of arches. As the two sing the nursery rhyme, more youngsters rush underneath their arms. They eventually drop their arms and catch whoever is in their grasp at the time. There is a falling down component to the rhyme and physical enactment, similar to ring around the rosy and humpty dumpty, which brings smiles to children's faces. London Bridge is falling down, meaning the specific meaning of the rhyme is unknown, however it might be an intricate metaphor for either death or the inevitable degradation of sections, or the complete, of civilization at any given period. If the actual London Bridge can collapse, then anything can. Not to mention that the actual construction of the Great London Bridge must have been difficult, with failures along the route to its eventual completion, with many of its pieces, from metal girders to bolts and more, falling off and floating away in the waterways. One theory is that the rhyme goes back to 1014, when the Viking Olaf II destroyed the London Bridge. The Heimskringler, a 19th century translation of the Norse epic, was published in 1844 and features a poem that rhymes. London Bridge is broken down. Gold is won, and bright renown. Shields resounding. War horns sounding. Hild is shouting in the din. Arrows singing. Mail coats ringing. Odin makes our Olaf win. In more recent history, though, scholars have thought the above verse, and the now common nursery rhyme, are likely not related. Some historians have even wondered if the Viking attack even took place. Human sacrifice. Some have put forward the claim that the nursery rhyme refers to the burying, perhaps even alive, of children at the base foundation of the bridge. This is based on the myth that a bridge would collapse unless a body of a human sacrifice was buried in its foundation as a watchman. There is no archaeological evidence for any human remains in the foundation of the actual London Bridge, however. Yet, bodies were found beneath the actual bridge in 2007 during excavation work, though that is more than likely not related to its original construction. Identity of the Fair Lady There have been many guesses as to who the Fair Lady is at the end of the nursery rhyme's many refrains. Some say it's the Virgin Mary. 
When the Vikings attacked it apparently took place on the birthday of the Virgin Mary. The Vikings attacked the bridge but couldn't take the city. It was protected by Mary, some say. Others have argued the fair lady is Matilda of Scotland, who lived from 1080 to 1118. She was responsible for the building of a series of bridges. Some have said the fair lady is Eleanor of Provence, 1223 to 1291, who had custody of the bridge revenues from 1269 to 1291. The Lee family of Stonely Park claims in a traditional family story that they have a family member buried under the bridge as part of a human sacrifice. Again, that is likely not true, however. Legacy. The nursery rhyme remains one of the most famous in the world. It was referenced by T.S. Eliot's famous poem, The Wasteland and some say the Fair Lady inspired the 1956 musical, My Fair Lady. The rhyme is still changed by children often, who sing. London Bridge is falling down. Falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. Build it up with iron bars. Iron bars, iron bars. Build it up with iron bars. My fair lady.